everyone how's everyone doing welcome to my channel my name is tina i hope you guys are all doing well i have a dollarama haul <laughs> i've been running around because of my two daughters getting married one in july and one in september so between doing that i had stopped at dollarama so um i have uh, mostly craft items, but I do have some household items that I'm going to start with. Um, and Cookie is in my bag. This is Cookie. She is getting big. She has six, six paws. <laughs> She's so cute. Say hi, Cookie. <laughs> Go. Okay. So as you can see, cat stuff. I got this uh, cat scratcher. It's like this. It's not big. I have one open there, and this is gonna be in the other room. So it comes with the little mouse and the ball. Uh, the one that I have here in my craft room, they already broke this one. This was five dollars, but they love it for some reason. So I grabbed another one for them. I got a couple of toys, a uh, couple of them are already with the little kitties. This was $1.75. Once you pull this, it squeaks. Um, it's cute, but at night, drives you crazy. I also have this one, $1.75. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, I have four little kitties. They used to be three, and... Pudding sister um, was not uh, adopted, so I, I, f I felt bad, so I got her. <laughs> and her name is Muffin. Um, this is like the fifth pack. I swear, they disappear. And when I'm mopping the floors, I pull the couches and I find 50 of them. But they love it. It's $1.50, you get six springs. And... This is the one that they didn't open yet, $1.50. They love these things. They jump so high. They're so funny. So those are the cat things. And if they hear now, they're going to come. Oh, one more thing. I don't like giving them too much treats because they're still kittens. But when I'm cutting their nails, I like to treat them. This was, I believe, 2 or $3. So got one of those. I grabbed these two packs of napkin. Um, they were $2. I thought pink and summer is woohoo, almost here. And uh, we're actually having a great um, weather this week. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I got 15 of these magnets. I can't find them everywhere, so when I saw them, I grabbed 15 of them. The store had like, I don't know, 30, 40. I was surprised. So I got 15 and I usually cut it in four. Uh, so they fit in my CD sleeves that I used to store my uh, cutting guys. So that was good. I grabbed these blankets for the kitties i got this color this was five dollars and it's 50 by 60 inches i like the boho look and i got two of the pink ones so one of the pink ones they're already using yeah i really like them and it's nice it's not like wintry doesn't although i have the ac on now so that's that i needed um, to replace my paint brush, paint brush or dye brush. And this was $1.25 for two. You can't go wrong. Of course, some gum for my room. I believe they were $3. Don't quote me. Um, I needed a new ice cream scooper. I found this Cuisinart one. I don't know if, they, if this was four or five dollars, um, but it looked like very good made. So the ones I had before was the ones that you, um, what do you call it? There is like a little button, but um, after a while they stopped working. 
I found this Wilton set, three piece. It's gold with navy and it has the Wilton sign. I thought this would be nice gift, but I'm not giving it as a gift. I bet you one of my girls will steal them. This was $5. And I got two of these. Now I have a couple of these in my drawer for my long um, like spatulas or wooden spoons and stuff. But again, I can't find it in all the stores. It's $2.50. So I saw it in one store in Toronto, uh, two of them, and I grabbed the two that they had. They also had, sorry about the noise. Um, these Martha Stewart baking pan and I love red <laughs> and these are 13 inches and they were five dollars I have the the Wilton and the Betty Crocker but I love these and they're very well made so I grabbed two I also saw not that I need any glasses, but I really like these. They were $2 each and they're nice size with the bamboo lid and the straw is glass as well. So I grabbed two of those. And then I found this wooden box. Let me get these here. So it's pretty deep. It comes with this uh, liner here, which I want to keep it in because I'm thinking of putting, hmm, maybe my markers. Um, I have so many markers. So I have something like that that was from the kitchen section that has like four, uh, and I painted it uh, pink. And I love using that, but I want one on this side. So I grabbed this one and it was $4. So I thought that was cute. I found Muffin. This is Muffin. She's got that nose, she's so cute. Hi Muffin. Say hi, mommy. <laughs> she's so cute. And this is Toffee. <laughs> Toffee does not like to be held. Say hi, Toffee. Say hi, say hi to the camera. Look at that face. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. This is a repurchase. Um, they do have three sizes, but I really like the thin, thin one. It's three millimeter by 10 meters very thin it's dollar fifty so i grabbed two of the thin ones i found these aero charms you get six in a pack and i believe it was dollar twenty five or dollar fifty it wasn't more than dollar fifty so i got one it's metal i also got these um, this this summer I don't have too much time to do any DIY because as I mentioned I have two weddings and um, but I wanted to have it in my stash just in case they you get four pieces in each there is three styles and they were dollar fifty so I got this style and as you can see it's nice size I got this style and I got this style kind of like a corner I really like them. Another um, repurchase is this double-sided uh, glue tape. And again, I like, I love these. And it comes with pretty decent si uh, amount of tape, $1.50. I got one pack of brushes. Um, I discovered that my little kitties, they love playing with brushes. I found so many that they had pulled the top. Yeah, anyway, these this was $2. Uh, 
I found these playing cards and it has cats on it. And of course I wanted to have it, um, $1.25 a pack. I don't know yet if I'm gonna do um, ATC on it. The back is all like fish and paw prints. It's so cute. And for $1.25, yeah, I grabbed it. I found this Fiskars um, heavy duty cutting. It's like a rotary cutting cutter, but it says that um, it does like thicker fabrics. This was $5 and I love anything Fiskars. So it comes with the lock here. So I grabbed it. I also found this now. Um, I have the other Fiskars, these ones, and these were from the craft department. Uh, this one I found in the tool department, so I'm not sure why it's in the tool. It comes with um, the protective lid, which that one I don't think it came with, but this was either $4.50 or 5 so I grabbed one. I love these scissors, the ones that you use that way. I grabbed three of these pouches. Again, these are repurchased. I love these. Um, every time I get, I'm working on something, I put it in, I label it, and that way I don't lose any pieces. It's mesh, and they do have different colors, like black, blue, uh, red, but I grabbed pink. So I got three of those. I got this sketchbook um, for $1.75. You get so many pages in here. And basically, I'm gonna take them out and there is a perforated line. And I'm going to fold them and make my own little sketchbooklet because I use uh, these for my little, what do you call it, journaling but I wanted something a little bigger, so I grabbed that. I got some paint. Uh, I was running low on these colors. So the white, the leaf green, lavender, turquoise, and sea spray, I love that color. And I can't find the light pink. Um, what's the Dollar Tree brand? Oh, I can't remember now, anyway. So I saw this one and I had bought um, the turquoise of this of this uh, brand before or this style before and it's not bad at all. And I thought this was better for like my jelly plate and it's only $1.50 so I grabbed the pink and the yellow that they had. And like I said, I have the turquoise already. My three girls are very much into family recipes and they keep bugging me to write all the recipes down. So I found these recipe journals and they had three colors, which was great because now each one of them will get one color. So basically this recipe book belongs to, and then you write the measurements and the direction it's pretty good. It even gives you like if, if it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, side dessert, the total time, prep time, ingredients. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, these were $4. So I grabbed three and I have to get working. I will do that in the winter <laughs> when I have time. I do love cookbooks and I saw this one. It's a green kickstarts metabolism booster for detox and weight loss. Not that I am doing any diet, but um, it has plant-based recipes and our two daughters are vegan. So, so I got this so that it'll make life easy because I'm always looking for vegan recipes. And I don't know how much was this. Oh, four dollars. I also got this here, fix it and forget it, plant-based comfort food. And I believe this was four dollars as well. New York Times bestseller. Um, this one 
you can use with your slow cooker or instant pot, which I have both. And I love a cookbook with pictures. I don't like, I won't pick up anything that doesn't have pictures. I also found the unofficial Disney Park. This is the drink recipe book. And although this one does not have too much pictures, but it was the Disney one. Oh, it does have pictures, sorry. Yeah, so I wanted to have it for 50 and they had the cookbook. And I used to make the Disney uh, cinnamon buns. Oh, so good. This was originally $13.99 and I grabbed it for $4.50 again. I collect cookbooks, so. <laughs> I also grabbed this metallic acrylic paint uh, to use with my jelly plate. It's $2.50. They also had the glitter, but I didn't want to deal with glitter right now. So I just got the metallic and I love the colors. I don't know. In the past, I have used these tubes. They weren't that great. So um, I just want to see what the metallic looks like. And then I found these. Uh, this one is five colors. It's called Vintage Colors. You get, look at the pastel colors. I love them. They were $4 for four jars and it's a good size jar. Again, I got this to use with my jelly plate. I thought it's gonna be easy to just scoop up with your um, spatula and put it on your plate. So that's the colors, $4. And I got the second color, which is, again, it says vintage. Uh, I think this is the wrong, or maybe that one is the wrong packaging because that can't be vintage. This is more vintage. I found that like even at Dollar Tree, I have a Dollar Tree coming up and I bought some paper pads and inside it's not the cover. So anyway, this is the five colors and four dollars. This is the only two sets that I found. I also got this, um, it's called stripling brushes. You get three of them for $2.25. And I have to be honest, I don't know the, the quality. I mean, it is stiff for I didn't even know what stripling means until I bought these. <laughs> anyway, you get three sizes for $3.25. This was interesting. They have these adhesive sheets, um, 10 pieces, and these are all the colors. And this was $1.25. They also had another color combination, or maybe the cover is a different color, and I'm not sure. But I thought this will do good for like stamping and making your own stickers. So you get pink, blue, this kind of coral, teal, turquoise, green, orange, uh, kind of like a red, fuchsia and bright neon yellow. And I uh, just want to see how the stickiness is. Oh yeah, it's very sticky. I was thinking if it was a low tack, this will be great for masking, but it's not actually low tack. So, so I grabbed that. I got some um, these papers. I had posted them on my Instagram, but I didn't have time to do a haul. So I am showing you now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account is in the description box below. So I got this one and this one I had bought before. It's just kind of like a watercolor and with cute designs in between. I just love it. This I use for journaling, $1.25, 30 of them. They're uh, kind of like a copy paper, a little thicker than copy paper. I believe it's 180 GS, 100 GSM. 
So this one here, it's called Dreams. And you get three of each design. And there is cutouts. I love the colors. Uh, this one's called Inspiration. It's more of a vintage look. Oh, I love that. I like anything with wood grain. This one is called Botanical. Oops, and it's not open. I hope everyone's doing well now that summer weather is here. Hopefully it will stay here in Canada or where I am. I swear we never get um, spring. We jump from cold snow to summer. <laughs> Just last week or the week before it was so cold. And now we have the AC on. Uh, this is nice too. This is called Vintage Garden. And the last one I have, and I am out of breath. Okay, this one is called Floral Feeling. Again, I love anything floral and these colors are beautiful. So that's that one. Um, this, I looked at it so many times and I passed it because I was looking at the silver one. Uh, you get 24 sheets in here. The silver had the craft paper with silver, which I'm not too fond of. Um, but I do use a gold a lot in my die cutting and... So I thought this was a good deal, 24 sheets, and you get like this textured gold, a couple of sheets of that. You get this very matte gold. It's glitter, but it has no fallouts. So I think it's six, six um, sheets. You get this kind of goldy top top color again six sheets of that and then you got the mirror kind of gold six of that so i grabbed two of them and even though i love silver i left the silver this is a repurchase i had bought one of these and i absolutely love it it die cuts beautifully in your machine come here pudding come don't cry come she's looking for her sisters this one has matte silver shiny silver this beautiful rose gold uh, matte gold shiny gold that's very shiny the shiny rose gold kind of like a copper and shiny copper and these were $2.75 for 16 sheets. I also grabbed the silver because I didn't get the silver. And um, it's got the mirror silver. I wish they had included half of it like the uh, matte silver, but it's okay. And I grabbed two of the gold. Come here! Again, two seventy-five, and these are all mirrored cardstock. I'm gonna go check what she's up to. Oh, I found the culprit, the crying baby. Say hi, say hi. This is Pudding. She's the smallest of them all, but the, she is the bossiest. <laughs> okay, go. Don't cry. I also got this self-adhesive foil, and this was $2, and I wanted to try it in my die cutting machine for like bows and stuff, so I'm not sure, oops, it is taped. 
Well, they got A for packaging, A plus. <laughs> um, oh gosh. All right. Oh, it's okay. I can't make bows with this, but I can maybe use them um, on the cart front and you get quite a bit for $2. So I will try on a cart front, see how it, you can make, yeah, you can probably die cut with it too, because it's got the sticky part. Anyway, I will play with this when I have a minute. I grabbed two of this uh, mixed media um, paper pad. This one is nine by 12. You get 50 sheets for $4, which I thought it's a steal because if you go to Michael's and you want to get the mixed media paper, it's pretty expensive. Um, this is acid free. I'm not sure if it says what thickness it is. No, it doesn't, but it's pretty thick. So I can't wait to play with this. I got two. And then I wanted these two paper pads um, only because I like the color combinations in here. And I go through a lot of like blues, teals and light blue. I go through a lot of orange and yellow. I go through a lot of natural color, neutral colors. This was $4, you get uh, 12 by 12, 24 sheets, 190 GSM. And I love the textured cardstock. So you got three of each color. Look how nice those are. Like these colors for uh, Halloween. I love that for summer. And then you have your navy. Yeah, I just love that. And the neutral, you get this kind of like a beige yellow. Uh, beige, a light brown dark brown you have black you have dark gray light gray and kind of like a khaki color so four dollars last but not least i found this uh, pack of project life uh, this was don't quote me four dollars or four fifty i'm not sure it was with four, it wasn't $5. And this one reminded me of Maggie Holmes with all the little flags, the horse. It's got gold foiling. You get 130 pieces. And here is all the designs. So there is jars, there is umbrella, there is a hot air balloon, some arrows, words. Yeah, I just love it. And then I found some uh, Tombow markers. Now, this was like a wild goose chase. Every single town or area, um, Dalarama had one style. So I found the gray in Newmarket. And these were $5. You get 12 pieces. And this is the gray palette. So these are alcohol markers. And there is all the numbers of the gray uh, family. I found this one in Aurora. And again, this is 12 pieces. This is the man manga palette. And these are all the colors. I found this one in Oshawa, where my daughter's house is. And this is all the uh, colors and this is called the fashion palette so five dollars again 15 alcohol based markers and then this one I found in um, Toronto I believe or maybe it's vice versa I'm not sure I lost count and this one is called the nature palette and it's got all these now there is two other palettes I believe um, 
which I've seen people post on Instagram. Um, the one is People's Palette and the other one, I believe it's Basic Palette. I haven't found them yet. Um, yeah, if any of you know, let me know where. Uh, I know the People's Palette people have been posting in like downtown Toronto, but I, I'm not gonna go downtown chasing um, markers. But anyway, this was my Dollarama haul. I know it was a long one and it was overdue, uh, to be honest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have an awesome day, you guys. Bye.